What's up, everybody? It's How To Tuesday, standing here at Hawks K with my friend Sam Malazzo. And today, we're going to talk about something that's that's kind of interesting. I just went fishing with Sam, and he had a trick. And the situation that we're talking about is when the fish are being kind of particular, they're, they've, they've, we've taken live pilchards out. We've had them eating on the surface, but then they kind of stop doing that. And so the, the need is to get the bait deeper and fish for these fish that are down there. But if you use a jig head or more weight, obviously these tricky fish can see that. So you had kind of a solution for us that I thought was pretty interesting. What's your What's your solution? Yeah, I mean, I didn't invent it or anything. It's just something that was taught to me mm-hmm. um, with, you know, your people that have a lot more experience than me. But yeah, if you belly hook the bait, instead of hooking it through the nose, you hook it in the belly. And if you, as soon as it hits the water, if you put just a little bit of tension on it, it'll turn that bait's nose down and the, the fish will actually swim deep. Um, you know, some some baits seem to cooperate a little better right. than others, but um, what will happen is you'll get that initial reaction bite sometimes, and then also sometimes it's just deeper, you right. know. But when you use the lead, it's not a natural presentation. Mm-hmm. You know, you're throwing freebies. We call them freebies. It's just live bait without a hook, and they're eating all those baits. You're chumming them up with live bait. So when you throw your belly hook bait, you know, it's – it doesn't have lead. It's it's very similar to the other ones. Um, and something about it just darting down when it hits the water, you get a, a, a quick bite a lot of times. Yeah, well, it, it certainly worked for us. And then the other thing that's happening is as you're throwing these freebies, everything's kind of staying up on the surface, and all the baits are kind of acting the same. One may be a little injured, but he's following the others. And then one goes like this, and that is just like a lure. Like, you, you know, people wonder, like, why out of all these fish, you know, a mullet school or whatever and you throw a lure in there why would they eat this this mullet because all the other fish are doing basically the same thing and this one lure is doing something slightly different and they isolate that and that's the predator instinct like we're getting that one so when this one shoots down that's what i noticed is that those yellowtail that we were fishing for they're all looking and they're being kind of spooky and then that one shoots down and they get it like yeah. almost immediately. I mean, there's there's power, there's strength in numbers. So when they're staying together, there's some, you know, strength there, safety there. But once that one bait, and that's what a predator fish is looking for. Mm-hmm. It's looking for the weak one. It's looking for the easier, you know, the easier meal for sure. Right. All right. Belly hooked pilchards. Belly, you could probably belly hook lots of other baits. You belly hook anything else? Yeah. Everything. Yeah, I mean, cigar anything. minnows. Yep. Any other. I mean, ballyhoos don't work as good. Some, you know, something about that longer bait. Mm-hmm. But, but yeah, just don't tell anybody. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we won't tell anybody. Everybody keep... <laughs> Keep that one to yourself. All right. Thanks, Sam. I appreciate it. Come back next week for another How-To Tuesday.